Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to this Google Sheets formula tutorial on how to use the rank function. The rank function is used to assign a ranking to a value based on where it sits within a series of data. We're going to look at two examples of how to use the rank function in this tutorial. Let's get started with our first example. In this example, we're considering a shop selling these six items. What we're going to do is we're going to rank each item based on how many we sold. To get started, we type equals rank, then open brackets. The first parameter is the value. This is the value that we want to find the ranking of. In this case, it's going to be the quantity sold for this item, which is this cell here. Simply click on the cell to select it. Now type a comma. We now enter our second parameter. The second parameter here is the data. So this is the range of data that we want to find our ranking within. I'll click and hold your mouse at the start of that range and drag it down until you reach the end. This example we've selected C3 to C8 because that's all of the quantity sold for all of our items. Now we can just close the bracket and press enter. We can see book here ranks as number one because we have sold the most books out of any of the items. We might want to find the rank of all of these items. To do that, we will drag our formula down. But before dragging it down, we'll need to make a change to our formula. The change we need to make is to our data range. If we drag our formula down as it is, this range will get moved down along with the value that we're looking at. But we don't want this data range to change. Therefore, we need to put a dollar sign before each column letter and each row number to tell Google Sheets not to change the value when we drag our formula down. As you can see here, we've now put $C$3 colon $C$8, which tells Google Sheets not to change this range of data. Press enter, and now we're at a position where we can drag our formula down. Come to this little blue square at the bottom right hand side of the cell. Hold your mouse down on it and drag until you reach the bottom of our table here. And as you can see, we've now assigned the ranking to all of the items in this shop. We can see that speakers here are ranked sixth because they have sold the least items, just as we expected. Now let's move on to our second example. In this example, we want to rank each of these employees based on how many days they've been late this month. This example is different to our previous example. In this example, the lower the value here, the lower the ranking. For example, 4 is the lowest, so this should be rank number 1. Whereas previously, the higher the value here, the lower the ranking. Let's get started by putting in our rank formula for this example. Again, we start by typing equals rank and open brackets. Again, we select the value, which again is going to be the days late this month, and put a comma. We now select the data in the same way as before. And because we're going to drag our formula down, we're going to insert the dollars, like so. Now, rather than simply ending our formula here, we need to put another comma and then put the number one. This is to tell Google Sheets that our data is now in ascending order. So the lower the value, the lower the ranking. Close the brackets and press enter. And as we can see, number four has ranked as the first one. So it has the rank of number one. Drag our formula down, and we can see that all of these people have been ranked correctly. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Make sure you check out our tutorial 
are the 10 formulas we think are most important to know in Google Sheets, or any of our other Google Sheets formula tutorials. We also have several tutorials on how to use Google Slides and many other software products. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.